Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today is a really special video. I am collaborating with one of my sweet, sweet friends. I'll have more on that in just a bit. Project number one. So I have four of these frames. They're just plastic frames from Dollar Tree. They're really, really pretty, but they're, you know, plastic. So uh, yeah, they're plastic. But anyway, so I'm going to take four of those and then one of these cathedral mirrors that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to open all of the um, frames and take the backings out, like the picture. And the, these only have like little plastic sheets instead of glass. So keep that in mind when you're buying these. But um, I don't need any of that. And I am going to take off all of the... Um, the little flappy things that hold the um, backing in. So I have these um, rub-on transfers from Dixie Bell, I believe. I will have it linked down below. I'm sorry, I didn't show you the packaging. Uh, this is like the last, if I have this one and the one that's up in the top left-hand corner, that's all I have left from that tube. So <laughs> um, I'm just going to transfer this beautiful picture, these beautiful flowers onto the the mirror and then I'm going to add everything back to the mirror the backing and the screws uh, so that everything is secure And this is what it looks like. So now I'm just gonna put that one aside and work on the four frames. Now I'm not doing anything like painting or anything with these frames because they're gorgeous as is. So this is what I'm trying to accomplish here. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get the positioning of the four frames. Uh, correct before I move forward with anything else. Now there's not a whole lot to uh, glue to uh, to secure everything so I did the best I could and improvised a little bit but I was able to get it done. So now I am just trying to get one and a half inches between each of the four frames uh, both horizontally and vertically if that makes sense um so that the cathedral window or mirror whatever you want to call it will sit in the center of it then I just place it down and I mark the sides of the mirror so I know where I need to put the glue now I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that they're not the same color like that cathedral window is not is not the same white as the frames but I um I made it work so I'm taking E6000 and I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to attach this mirror to the four frames
So while that's drying, I decide I'm gonna take my Dixie Belle Bonding Boss and the white cap paint and I'm going to go over just the cathedral window and now it's much better. It's the same color. So yay for me for figuring that out. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm just going to let it dry here and then I end up moving it and putting it aside so that I can use uh, the Acadia paint with these pieces of resin that I made. I have like a whole container of resin pieces that I've made and they're just like branches. So I'm going to paint the whole thing green and it's a really nice green and goes with some of the greens in the rub on transfer and then I will let them dry. Now I forgot to hit the record button but all I did was I took some E6000 and hot glue. I glued the uh, oh my goodness I glued the branches to the side and then I took some popsicle sticks or craft sticks <laughs> don't mind my cat from um, Home Depot and I just added those to the back of this picture now I'm taking the silver rub it and buff and I am just going over some of the cathedral's uh, window to match the frames and then I go over the branches or the leaves and it just looks perfect. I absolutely love how this came out. I swear that I'll stay with you. Let me know what you think of this project. I am in love. So today's video is a collaboration with my sweet friend, Amy from Bella's Bargains. If you have not checked out her channel, you simply must. She is amazing. She's funny. She's super talented. And like her channel is just so much fun. She starts out with a song for every video. So go check her out. I will have her video and her channel linked in my description box down below. Let her know that I sent you. Okay, project number two. I have some of these black frames, just like the white ones I just used, uh, but black. <laughs> And I show that I'm that I have four here. Um, my project kind of took a turn, so I only ended up using two. And then I have these craft sticks from Home Depot. So I'm just unwrapping everything, and I do take those little clip things off um, that hold the pictures and backing into place. So. As I said, this uh, project took a turn. Um, I was going to try to make a lantern out of it, but there was really nowhere to um, glue to. <laughs> so I was gonna try these popsicle sticks because I saw my sweet friend, C, hi C, from uh, CJ DIY. She made one and she used the popsicle sticks. So I was going to uh, try that as well, but I like I said, went in a different direction. Now I am cutting these popsicle sticks with my miter shears, which I think they need a new blade because they were not cutting through this. But anyway, I was able to snap them in half. And so now I'm taking the popsicle sticks and I'm gluing them to themselves. And then I am going to... Uh, stack four, I believe it's four, 
each um, together. Is it four? Yeah, so there's four of them stacked right there. And then I do the same thing here. So again, I took one popsicle stick, snapped it in half, glued it together, and then glued those two pieces to two other pieces. And now I'm just going to take some hot glue and I am going to put the sticks on either side of this frame. And then I'm going to repeat the process on another frame. Then I'm going to take some of my E6000 as well as some hot glue. And so I'm just putting the E6000 in the corners and then I will hot glue the uh, craft sticks from one of these frames and then I'm just going to lay the other frame on top of that. So I'm making like a sandwich if you will. And then I'm just going to take some of my clamps and I'm going to hold it together um, until the E6000 dries. Now, I did notice that where the sticks are, they didn't like stick together. <laughs> Get it? No. <laughs> um, so I just added some more hot glue in that area and then took some more clamps and placed them like in the center of the long parts of the frame. You'll see in just a second what I'm talking about. I kind of um, I ramble on a little bit and I apologize for that. But anyway, once I get all of the clamps on, I'm just going to put it aside for a little bit until it cures. Now that it's cured, I'm going to take the clamps off and continue on. So I have this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's like a purple. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the entire frame so that I know how long it needs to be. And then I'm just going to kind of cut that. I apologize my voice so I have these flowers from Michaels and then this eucalyptus from uh, Timu and then these two beautiful flower picks from the Dollar Tree so I'm just gonna cut off a couple of the pieces from each pick and yeah then I'll just put those aside for the time being and I'm going to start wrapping the frame. So this is kind of twofold. I wanted to bring the purple in and also I wanted to just cover where the two frames meet so that um, it, it kind of covers any glue or space that you might see. Uh, in between the two frames. So now once that's done, I'm going to take some of this um, I believe it's Spanish moss, um, and I'm just going to tuck it in between the two frames. And once I get that in, I'm going to put another layer of it in between the two frames. Now, my dear friend Amy <laughs> uses that coconut liner thing from Dollar Tree and it doesn't make a mess like this. And I think I am going to steal that idea. I hope you're okay with that, Amy. Um, because this stuff just makes a god awful mess. It's terrible. But anyways, so now I'm taking the picks and I do end up taking the leaves off. 
um, and I'll put those aside for a little bit later. And I'm just going to start filling this section uh, with greenery and flowers and just making it look beautiful. Now, anything I put on one side, I try to put on the other side. I try to keep it very cohesive. Um, I don't know if it's a little bit of ADHD. I don't know what it is, but I was diagnosed with that once, but I don't know. I feel like I'm just too lazy to have ADHD. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just kidding, kind of. But anyway, so then I took some hot glue and I just lined the bottom of where the florals are and added some of that Spanish moss because I wanted to cover where the leaves, where everything was kind of tucked in there. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm taking this ribbon and I'm showing you, I slowed it way down so I could show you how I do my finger bows. Um, this is not my original idea. I actually saw quite a few people doing it. And um, the one that I learned from was Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY. And so anyways, you just hold the tail wrap it around your finger as many times as you want the bow and then cut the tail. You put it in between the ribbon and your fingers and then wrap it around and then stick the tail in that loop that you made when you're wrapping the ribbon around. See, I'm horrible at explaining, so I slowed it way down so you would be able to see what I'm doing, but they make perfect bows so um yeah this is how it's done <laughs> Now, once I'm sure of where I'm going to put it, I do dovetail the ends and then I am going to hot glue the bow right to the corner, the top left hand corner of the frame. And then I do tack the tails down like I typically do so that they kind of stay where they're supposed to be. And then once I have the bow in place, I'm going to take a couple of leaves and just hot glue them under the bow. And then I will take one of the purple flowers and I am going to hot glue that right to the center of this bow. And here it is. I think it's so darling. I absolutely love this piece. Let me know what you guys think. Project number three. Now I have these uh, Dollar Tree frames. They're, um, they're not wood, they're particle board. And I have this film, window film that was sent to me by a company called Dunda Technology. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, um, it came off of Amazon and I will have the information linked in my description box down below. So if you're interested, you can go check it out. They have different um, size rolls of this window film. I think it's beautiful. 
Um, they call it the snowflake pattern, but I just, I think it's beautiful. So anyway, I am taking these frames. I'm taking everything out. Now this does have glass in it. And I, um, so I take all of the backing out. I put the glass aside and then I take the clips that hold the backing off and ended up slicing my fingers. So if you're going to do that, be very careful not to slice your thumb or any of your fingers. So anyways, now I have this film I'm trying to get out of its wrapper. They wrap it very well. Um, and it does come with some instructions. Uh, so, you know, you put those aside for you know, once you read them, you put them aside and carry on. But anyways, so now I'm lining up the four pieces of glass that I'm going to use. And so that will determine how much I need to cut off of this roll. So I am measuring it and I will just cut a piece that is big enough, basically. I mean, <laughs> I think I'm over talking here, but anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to cut it. It's a really nice plastic, like it's a thicker plastic. It's not like a chintzy plastic. It's really, really nice. So anyway, um, then I'm when we're going to, oh my word, Tammy. Then I am going to just measure it the other way so that I can cut four pieces out of this for my four pieces of glass. Tell me what, what you want. Okay, so that was exciting as watching paint dry, wasn't it? I'm sorry. <laughs> shouldn't have left all that in but so now I'm taking my squirt bottle and you just put a little bit on the glass and then um, you're going to peel the backing off now I was having a difficult time which is why you don't see me here but I do end up getting it um, yeah I was having a hard time separating the plastic from the film but I got it and then you just lay it down wherever you want it to line up. And uh, then you just push it down and it kind of squeezes all the water out. And then you just kind of lift it up and I take a paper towel and just kind of wipe off the excess water. And I'm going to repeat that with all four pieces. I'll show you one more and then I am going to uh, fast forward so you don't have to sit through all of it. Okay, now once that's done and they're like dried on there, I'm taking my um, like exacto blade and I'm going to cut off the excess. And I'm sure I'm sorry, oh my word, that you can't really see it. But all I'm doing is going along the glass piece, just taking off the excess plastic. And I do that with all four because, of course, they're all a little too big. Okay, so now that that's done, I am going to take my E6000 and I'm putting it in the four corners of every uh, frame. And then I am going to take some hot glue just for a temporary hold so that the 
glass doesn't fall out before the E6000 cures. So here I go, I'm getting my hot glue, there we go. And now I'm just going to place the glass pieces with the plastic on the inside. And yeah, so I'm just gluing it all together. And now I am going to add some E6000 and some hot glue to the sides of the frames. And I am going to make myself a lantern. I'm sure you guessed that by now. But uh, yeah, so they're all going to get glued together to make a square. Now that that's done, I am going to take some of those craft sticks and I am going to make a bottom. So I'm just kind of lining them up to see how many I need. And um, yeah, I didn't have enough for that one. So enough room for that one. So there is a little bit of a space between each of these sticks, but I'm okay with that. And I want to apologize if you can hear in the background, I have a dog barking, I have a dog licking, and I have a cat. One is howling and the other one is shaking his head and you can hear his bell. So anyway, <laughs> there you go. So I just marked the craft stick where I needed to cut it off and then I... Um, I'm going to use that as a template to cut all of the other sticks. Yeah, that's all I need and I'll be all right. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. And now that they're all done, I took some E6000 and then some hot glue and I glued, I started with the ends and then I kind of worked my way inside.
and that's what the bottom looks like. So now I am going to take some wooden, um, like spindle, not spindles. Uh, what am I trying to say? Like almost like thread those things right there. <laughs> I can't think of what they're called, but like little barrels. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm taking five of them and I am going to use E6000 in hot glue and I'm going to glue one to each corner and then one in the very center just so that it doesn't end up warping at the bottom. And there it is. That's how this one came out. I think it's so beautiful. Look at that film. Isn't it gorgeous? I absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Project number four. So I was, I'm, all right, first of all, I'm using two more of those picture frames and then I got this wood blank from Michaels. Now it typically hangs, oh, and I have the walnut folk art wood tint. So it usually hangs horizontally. I took the hanger off and replaced it so that it will hang vertically. I took the walnut wood tint and I went over just the wood blank. I was going to do the frames as well, but I liked the contrast of the two different colors. So I left it as it was. I'm taking all of the backing out of it and the glass pieces, and I'm gonna put the glass pieces aside. Now I was going to, you can see that I took the kickstand thing off cause I was going to keep the backings and use them, but I thought otherwise. Now, I have these sunflowers. They're rub-on transfers, but they're kind of like stickers from Amazon. They should be in my storefront in the description box down below. And you just rub them right onto the glass and they peel right off nice and easy. Now, I'm only using these sunflower pieces. I was going to use my grandbaby's pictures, Jameson and Noel. But for some reason, my printer is not printing pictures. It's just printing words, like the programming letters or whatever it is. Anyway, I was getting so frustrated. So I decided I will do that some other time. And I'm going to just use these rub-on transfers because I want to share my grandbabies with you. They're so adorable. I love them both so much. Um, but anyways, so yeah. So I put the backing on and I didn't like the white from the um, backing. So I decided I was going to glue the glass into place. Now, I left this in because, you know, we all make mistakes, right? <laughs> So this one had a sharp edge. I used it on something else. And, uh, you know, we don't throw anything away. So anyway, I put the straight line on the inside of the glass instead of the outside so that it looked like it was kind of peeking around the corner kind of thing. Ugh. I couldn't believe I did it. I was so upset with myself. So all I did was I just took my spatula thing from Cricut and I just scraped off the sunflower that had the piece missing off it. Ugh, I, again, I was so upset with myself. So anyway, I'm just going to uh, cut out a bunch of sunflowers from the different uh, pages of the transfers and I am going to fix this piece of glass. <laughs>
swear that I'll stay here with you. Hold me closer. I wanna stay here with you. All that we have is each other now. I promise I won't leave your side. Be who you are and you'll be enough if you're giving me your love. And now that all of the transfers are on the glass, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the lantern. I'm going to put E6000 and some hot glue on the frames and I am going to glue the glass pieces right into the frame. And once that's done, I'm going to take, I'm lining everything up. See how you can see the wood from, you know, the background? I think that looks so much better than the white paper. So anyways, now I'm taking some of the E6000. I'm just putting it on the corners and I am going to, I probably should have used wood glue, but it is what it is. And now I am using some hot glue to go around the sides and I'm going to attach the frames right to the wood blank. Then I'm gonna take some of that tan and natural um, twine from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to make another finger bow. And again, I slowed it down for you so that you can see what I am doing. Now, I think I did five loops on each of these bows. I am making two of them, by the way. Give me Now, once that's done, I am going to tack down, or well, I hot glued the bows to the frames, and then I tack down all of the tails, all four of the tails, and I kind of leave them a little like loopy. I know, kind of like me, <laughs> but anyhow, um, yeah, so I finish that up and now I have these sunflowers that were sent to me a long time ago in a challenge that we did from Tasha from Sunflower Tasha DIYs and so I am going to hot glue one to each of the bows the center of each of the bows and then in between the two frames I'm going to make a like bouquet of them and then right here, as you can see, I'm using my lighter to burn off all of the fuzzies. Now, I should have done this before I glued them on, but I didn't. So 
here we are. And that's it for this one. I think it's so beautiful. I love it. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I'd like to thank Amy so, so much for collaborating with me. I am so honored that you accepted. Don't forget to go check out Amy's video and her entire channel. It will be linked down below. So make sure you go check her out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from Amy's channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so, so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and I will see you in the next one. you want